What's up YouTube, it's Isan of The Style Jump for your boost to personal style. If you're new to the channel, we release a video once a week where we discuss topics like style, confidence, and etiquette. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell below so you'll be notified when we release our next video. Today we're gonna to be discussing the body type of a tall and slender man. Maybe you've been called bean pole, string bean, or shorty. But we're gonna help you maximize your body type. Number one, your shirt collar. Fellas, if you have a long neck and it's really narrow, I recommend avoiding small collars as well as collars that are long. I recommend a spread collar, one that creates the illusion of a wider neck. Another thing about your collar that you wanna consider is your collar stand. Make sure, if you can, find shirts that have a taller collar stand. The reason for that is it creates the illusion of a shorter neck, especially if you have a super long neck Number two, the lapel on your blazer or sports coat. I recommend a peak lapel. A peak lapel, like the one I have on today, broadens the chest and creates the illusion of a wider frame. So try to stay away from those really narrow lapels. Number three, the shoulders on your sports coat or blazer. If you have a slim frame and narrow shoulders or sloped shoulders, I recommend looking for brands that have their blazers and sports coats with a little more padding when it comes to their shoulders. That creates the illusion of a broader frame. Number four, your shirt width. One of the unique challenges about being a tall and slender or lanky guy is you try to find shirts the length of your arm. So just make sure that even though you're looking for that, that you find shirts that are in a more of a narrow fit, more of a slim fit, or an athletic fit. Number five, if you can, look for a brand that has a narrow arm hole. A narrow armhole maximizes your body type because remember, if you are tall and slim, by finding brands that have narrow armholes, it's just gonna continue to keep you looking sexy. Number six, layers. Now obviously layering depends upon the season, but if you can, layer your clothes because it creates some dimension, it breaks up the body, it requires someone to look at you a little bit longer, and also has a little girth. Number seven, prints and patterns. It gives you a chance to break up your outfit, add a little color variation, and also you can have a little fun. Number eight, contrasting pieces. This is primarily blazers and trousers. This will give you a chance to break up your body again so that you're not looking at one continuous line or one continuous canvas, but you're breaking it up and it allows you to play around with your wardrobe. Number nine, pants length. Make sure that your pants are the appropriate length for your height. I recommend a half or a full break. You don't want to walk around in high waters and look like this guy or this guy. Number 10, style of shoe. If you're not playing ball or hiking or you're just rocking some boots, I would steer away from bulky shoes. It's just going to make you look clunky at your ankles. I recommend loafers or a slender looking Oxford. Don't forget, the ladies look at you from feet first. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you find this information informative, make sure you subscribe, share, and comment. And remember, when you leave home today, walk out with style, confidence, and etiquette. We'll see you next time.